Well, welcome to another edition of Meet Your Neighbor. I'm Joey Prey, and this is John Mays, and as you guess, this is kind of a holiday edition. <laughs> I wasn't so sure what... I could hear John when he walked in the building today. Not that I could hear John, but I could hear that sweater he's wearing. <laughs> John, John, John Mays is another one of our staff that brings a lot of humor to our funeral home from time to time, and most all the time. So let's see if we can get through this without, without okay. laughing ourselves okay. silly. Tell, tell, me, tell me about where you grew up, John. Well, I was, I was born in the back seat of a Greyhound bus. <laughs> Stop <laughs> <laughs> rolling down Highway 41 <laughs> to Detroit. And that's where I grew up at. Isn't that a Bob Seger song? Ramblin' Man? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, I think it was the Eagle song. Oh, okay. I'd have to look it up. I have to Google it. Okay. You have to Google it. See if it's... <laughs> okay. 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 <laughs> Were you really going in the back of seat of a Greyhound bus? Traveling down Highway 41, yeah. <laughs> I never can tell if you're telling the truth sometimes or not. <laughs> anyway, okay, yeah. you grew up in the Detroit area. In Detroit area. Mm -hmm. East Detroit, which is now East Point. You grew up in East Detroit? I did. Oh my gosh, I worked there for a while. I know, at Schultz's funeral home down in Topher. Yes, that's right. I'm I Gretchen. I forgot that you were, I thought you were Downriver, but whatever. I taught Downriver. Oh, okay, that's where I got yeah. confused. All righty. And then I went to school to East Detroit. Uh huh. Went to school at Macomb Community College. All right. Wayne State University. Yeah. And that's where I got my master's and bachelor's and all that stuff from. Ah, uh, yeah. Then my first teaching assignment was in e course. E course, okay. Which is kind of down here. Oh, I have to go this way. Down yeah. here. It's, yeah. <laughs> It's uh, whatever, you yeah, know. Down this, down this way. Down here. here. Yep. Got to get the, the right hand up. Oh, that's, that's what I say. This, this way. And then. <laughs> mirror image. <laughs> exactly. I look at the thing in the mirror. Anyways, um, then I taught at Roseville High School and uh -huh. Macomb Community College. Mm -hmm. And then I came up here in 1983. 1983. Oh, my gosh. Let's see. That was. You were just born then, weren't you? Well, uh, uh, was your Tyler was born. Tyler was born. Yeah, Tyler was one of your students in high yes, school. Yes, he was. Yeah, that was uh, 1983. That was uh, five years, uh, four years after, no, six years after we graduated from high school. Seven years. I'll get it right sooner or later. Oh, yeah, you're still a You baby. taught what? Uh, technical drafting or <laughs> CAD and computers and... All that stuff, yeah. Okay. Drafting, CAD, computer graphics, and what else did I teach? No, I can't say those things, but. <laughs> <laughs> Joviality. Okay. Neat. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> anyway, anyway, you also taught at yeah, LCC. I did. Oh, for how many years? 30 years there. Oh my gosh. You're still teaching at LCC. I still am. Yep. Excellent. It's something that's just kind of. In the blood. That, I understand that. that. And it's just exciting to see kids learn and get a skill mm -hmm. and carry on in their life with something that, uh, you know, they came in and said, what's this all about? And all of a sudden, they're 30 years in business. Oh, wow. Isn't that cool? Yeah. You have yeah. a great effect on students, and that's pretty neat. I know I know. Tyler learned a lot from your class. He, I think he... He enjoyed it, and he said, you know, I learned more about computers in your class than he did anything else, which Probably, has helped him yeah. a bit, quite a bit. Well, he learned himself. Well, I, yeah. I was just a mentor. Ah, yes, that was it. <laughs> well, let's see. Um, tell me one thing about yourself that other people may not know. And no. you may, some of you may take a clue from his sweater. <laughs> Well, when I was in the Detroit area, um, I started at 11 playing guitar. Oh my gosh, 11. And then 
played in a couple bands, mm -hmm. and the one band we got into was uh, uh, we won third place in the nation in the Battle of Bands. Way cool. We were on TV, made a couple records. Oh, my. Um, we were kind of a warm-up band for Bob Seger when he was just starting to get his career going. Wow. And uh, um, when we broke up, our organ player ended up being with uh, Seeger um, on a couple of his sil Silver Bullet albums. So uh -huh. it was kind of neat to see how oh, nice. everybody went their own ways. And we mm -hmm. still, all of us that were in the band, are still playing today. Is that right? Yep. You, you play a lot at your church yep. and some other things, don't you? I play whether it's bass guitar or rhythm guitar or whatever is mm -hmm. needed that particular week. So Ah, yeah. So from 11 to now, it's a long time playing guitar. <laughs> a couple of years, <laughs> we'll A couple of years. A couple of years, we'll say. <laughs> well, so. let's see. Uh, other than playing guitar is and, and the music, is there some other... Do you have another hobby or a favorite hobby that you've kept up on these years? Can I say it on camera? <laughs> Stop. <laughs> Probably, but yeah. <laughs> uh, <laughs> uh, oh, okay. My hobby, kind of. I, I I like riding our motorcycle, my motorcycle. Yeah. And, uh, Diane and I, mm -hmm. uh, we rode for quite a few years, and we're still riding, and mm -hmm. um, just out in the open and enjoying the country air and. Mm -hmm. Just, just having fun, going to places, coming back home, and just saying uh, what uh, beautiful country is that God made for us to enjoy. Oh yeah, I I know it's always fun when you we see well, John come in to work today, and all of a sudden we hear pulling in the parking lots. And, He's here. He's here. <laughs> I'm ready to go. <laughs> yeah. Then you go upstairs, take your helmet off and your leather jacket. And, Put your coat, put your suit and tie on, and you're all ready you're to go. You're already set. Yep. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> I dropped my my notes. <laughs> so, over the years, what are you what are you most proud of? Probably first of all is my kids. Proud oh of my yeah. Kids. It was nice to meet you. You recently had a birthday too. We won't I say did. which one. Nope. So it was cool to meet your kids all at the birthday yep. party. Yeah. They um they're successful in what they do and mm -hmm. they have um, beautiful spouses and we got six great grandkids and mm -hmm. um, you know, I'm just pr I'm proud of my family for what they uh, what they accomplished yeah that's really cool especially with being a dad like me you know? <laughs> <laughs> uh, I don't know Seriously. I, I would have guessed you were probably always the cool dad oh man oh I'm dead man well it depends who you ask <laughs> yeah, <laughs> he's stern. Mm. Yeah. But well, let's see. If we were to ask somebody else, hey, what do you think of John Mays? What do you hope they'd say about you? No, well, depends who you ask. <laughs> yeah, I know. <laughs> okay, but how? What do you hope they'd say about you? <laughs> well, I I think that um, I had an effect on people's lives. Mm -hmm. Whether it's good or bad, it's going to be something, but the most thing I do is, is I see that students that have come through my class have been very successful mm -hmm. and still in the business for 30 some years or so. And uh, when I see them on the street, they just say thank, you know, they thank me for introducing them into a particular program that now they're successful at. Mm -hmm. And I'm still um, friends with those people today. Oh, yeah, that's and, cool. And it, it's cool to see them mature, to see them be successful, mm -hmm. and hoping that they would uh, go to my Facebook page and fill out the GoFundMe page <laughs> <laughs> for my Mercedes. <laughs> that's a joke, right? <laughs> See, that's what I've always liked about John. It's like, wait, you're, oh, that, you're not serious about that. Oh, maybe you are. I don't know. <laughs> but we've always enjoyed having you on our staff and our team here at the funeral home. 
And it truly was. I know a couple of weeks ago I mentioned we took care of a, what well, we were talking before we got started. A couple of weeks ago we took care of a gentleman who one of his um, alter egos was Santa Claus to many people here in the community. We were sorry to lose him. Uh, and at the end of the service, we all thought it would be a great idea. We all donned Santa Claus hats and played a particular appropriate piece of music and dismissed everybody and the family thought that was wonderful. And poor John, he ended up with the Santa Claus hat with a full mustache and beard, but it was good because you were working outside and it was really kind of Keeping fun. Keeping me warm. Yeah, it was, really, it was really interesting to see people's reaction as you came up to their car in the parking lot to make sure that they had their instructions for the, for the procession. Yeah. And you, we see Santa Claus walking around the parking lot out there. That was great. And you, you play the part well, no oh, matter what uh, part no, we give you, you to play. <laughs> <laughs> but, so, you know, it's just been an enjoyable uh, experience here. Uh, everybody here is family, mm -hmm. and I think we treat one another as family, mm -hmm. as well as we treat people who um, we have to serve as family. Yes, we do. And um, I just appreciate being part of this family so that we can, again, help the people in the community. Well, thank you. And that's what we're here for, is to take care of the families in the community, help them heal from their loss. Well, thanks, John. Appreciate thank you, you being on, on, on camera. Um, oh, not sure if the... Uh, like, yeah, hey, hey. hey. Uh, <laughs> okay, you forgot the... Oh, this way and this way. Yeah, <laughs> way. okay, we got that. <laughs> I'm not sure if they'll be able to hear any of our interview over the loudness <laughs> of your sweater <laughs> or maybe my suit right. I don't know <laughs> but thanks again thanks for uh, being on the interview thanks hey, for well, you have to do it again sometime yeah, yeah. <laughs> maybe Easter <laughs> you want to come dress thank as you. the Easter bunny <laughs> well thank you very much and hope you uh, enjoyed this version <laughs> of this episode of meet your neighbor Bye. See ya. <laughs> <laughs>